Hey everybody, my name is Jameson and welcome to my wood shop. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I carve realistic fish from solid wood all the way through the painting process. Let's get started. For this piece, I'm going to start with a quarter alder. So next you want to take your pattern and get it within a quarter inch of the edges. Take a sharpie and mark about a half inch in front of the fish. So here we are the next day. We're gonna take the glued up block and we're gonna run it through the joiner to get a nice square edge. So now we ran the board through the joiner. Next, we wanna actually bring it down to size so we can run it through the bandsaw. So we're gonna add the pattern to it. So now that I have a nice smooth jointed edge, I'm actually gonna take my pattern, place it on here and leave about a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna draw a nice line here and measure how thick I need this. This will make it easier to work on the bandsaw. So now I'm at a point where my trout pattern can actually kind of become whatever I want it to be. The body for most trout are very similar. So now that I've traced out the entire body, I'm actually going to work on the head to make it look a lot more like a cutthroat trout. After I get that roughed out, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. So now I'm looking at the top of the fish. And I want to go ahead and figure out what motion I want my fish to have. It's how you want the final mount to actually look that will dictate this part. So I'm going to actually start with just a center line. So that's the center line. From there, I'm going to actually draw it in by hand. I don't have patterns for this part, so I'm going to have to do this by hand and guess to work. Because you can kind of see where it aligns here, where the gills would be. It's going right along this line. So I want to actually take my gills even further back. You can kind of see we wandered up to the edge here and that's okay. Cause remember there's going to be a rounded over part to each side of a fish. It goes, um, cause right now we're a little bit thick. Most trout are actually very skinny and it's just this nice fluid motion. And now it's time for some bandsaw.
So what I want to do now is actually redo the head. I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to go ahead and actually redo and get that perfect. What I want to do is kind of redraw it so it's just right. So here we are, we have a fish. This side's not beveled, but you can see I have a nice 45 degree bevel. Down here, bevel as well. And that just saves you some carve time. So now it's time for details.